It's been two weeks since the House oust Kevin Speaker Kevin McCarthy bringing work in Congress to a grinding halt. And after endless closed door meetings, House members met today to try to elect a new speaker. As Cronkite News reporter Renee Romo tells us from our Washington bureau. Arizona lawmakers voted on party lines today as the House tried to elect a new speaker after two weeks of gridlock. But not all members fell in line as the fractious Republican caucus again refused to back a single candidate. The House will come to order. Ohio Republican Jim Jordan needed 217 votes to win the speaker's job, but he was only able to get 200 today. No person having received a majority of the whole number of votes cast by surname, a speaker has not been elected. While all 212 Democrats voted for minority leader Hakeem Jeffries, 20 Republicans bucked their vote and voted for other candidates. There's nothing more political than a leadership race within a caucus. Many Democrats were like Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva, who called Jordan too extreme and unfit to lead the House. But some Republicans were like Tucson Congressman Juan Siscomani, who said it is time for the House to get back to work. So I think Congressman Siscomani's uh, vote was just rooted in common sense as much as frustration. Clearly, not all Republicans felt that way. This is a day, at least so far, that it's revenge of the moderates um, after what took place with Speaker McCarthy. Congress has been gridlocked for two weeks after conservatives voted to oust former Speaker Kevin McCarthy, a fellow Republican. But experts agree that lawmakers need to get back to work. Another government shutdown is looming. The moment that, that Gates filed the motion to vacate, the chances of, of a shutdown went up significantly. Rose said he does not think Congress is in critical territory when it comes to keeping the government open. But Noble said lawmakers are not making themselves look good with their continued inaction. Because I talked about this being a bunch of toddlers. We've, we've not seen this level of chaos in the House ever, at least not in my lifetime. As the House was voting today, the clock was ticking on congressional business, with aid to Ukraine and Israel stalled and another government shutdown looming a month from today. In Washington, Renee Romo, Cronkite News.